Hello, everybody. Welcome to the next episode of the Edge of the Earth Lola playthrough. It's been a good time, Ryan. Uh, group 2 won the vote. The hidden, hidden alien city looms before you, ancient and enigmatic. What secrets and terrors lie in and wait within? During your turn, spend a clue. Look at the revealed side of a city landscape in your column or row. Lightning bolt during your turn, spend three clues. Move to any location in your column or row. Limit once per round. Spend two squids. Remember that we are study the history of the Elder Things. Spend two cultist. We have to do that. Discover hidden power and study those. Okay, that's actually pretty simple. Let's give this a shuffle. Because we talked to what's his nuts in the last game, we have earned uh, two extra cards. We're gonna give them to Lola. Lola's gonna take the extra cards. Four, five, six, seven. That's a pretty awful high hand. Two, three, four, five. This is also not great. Holy hell. What's the doom here? Six? I can probably kill you before then. So we're going to keep that. And then we're going to maul the rest. All right, not the best start here. To be completely honest with everybody, not the best start. Now, over here on this hand, I think I'm going to, like, mulligan the majority of the hand. If not, we're just going to do a hard mull, I think. We're just going to mull seven. Just give them all to me. Okay, so we can at least investigate at four. We can at least investigate at four. Give me the gr the yellow. Give me the yellow. We also have this, which is really nice. It's a very strong card. With Faustian, we actually have a good green start here. And we have a pretty alright yellow start as well. Okay. Test fist or foot four? N nope, not gonna do that. Move to another stone bridge location. Okay. Well, Akachi's gonna go first. We're gonna drop down our arcane initiate and we're gonna spin. Give me the shriveling. We're then going to play the shriveling. Just to get a kill spell online. And I think we're also going to drop down the soapstone. Which comes in with an additional charge. I'm upset. Okay. I'm going to drop down... The laboratory assistant. We're going to draw two cards. Fine. I'll be a yellow investigator. <laughs> I'll be a yellow investigator, okay? We're going to fast out this magnifying glass. I think I'm going to take a little bit of a risk here. I'm going to take a tiny bit of a risk. We're going to investigate, and I'm going to commit this deduction. I'm going to lightning bolt in this window to red before we draw our token. So we're at five to three. Minus one. Minus a million. So unfortunately, the gamble did not pay off because that was minus five, which is a lot more than I can do. Because we had five to three. We took the gamble. I don't regret it. We're going to gain three money. I don't regret it. It could definitely have been better, but, you know. We, we shot our shot, right? No partners? No, I didn't grab partners for this one. Honestly, I'm worried about dying. Uh, I'm worried about dying in this scenario. Alright, we're at one of six. Sorry, two of six. Two of six. Hmm. Test brain three. Alright, so we're going... We'll do this. We'll look at the top three. I'll take you. And then we're going to invest... We're going to go five to three here. Minus zero. We pass. You live to fight another day, Arcane Initiate. Okay. So 
So I'm pretty sure we're going to Spectral Razor this guy. So that puts us at 8 to 3. 8 to 3. Minus 3. Oh my god, this is a hard token cup today. We're going to use this to zap him. To deal 4 damage, and then we're going to discard 4 cards. Okay. Nothing too nuts. Nothing too important either. Alright, we're going to drop down this alchemical transmutation. And we're going to move a charge over to these angered spirits. Then I think we're going to move in here for our last action. After you reveal one or more frost tokens during the skill test at Runa Streets, take one damage. Well, fuck me, I guess. <laughs> well, fuck me, that sucks. That's a four shroud location. Oh, yeah, I still got four charges. I always forget about Akachi's ability. Alrighty, let us switch into green. I'm gonna buy these. We're gonna pick up the key. Keys just work like other ones, right? Yeah. We're going to move in here. <clears throat> uh, then we're going to assign a Faustian bargain. I actually don't think I'm going to. Fuck it, I'm risking it. We're going for all. If we go for all here, we succeed this on a zero. It's so slim, but I'm going to do it. Minus one. Ma automatically fail. We take a damage. Get out of here. You're you're probably leaving next turn, just so you know. Okay. I'll keep. Two of six. Three of six, rather. Obscuring fog. Draw the top card of the Tekalili deck and resolve its effects. Shuffle it into any investigator's deck. How many frost tokens do you have in the bag? Five. Five of eight. It's a lot. Discard a card of random from your hand. Oh, shit. <laughs> Alright, it's you. Uh, that can go in Lola's deck for sure. All right, give me an a brand of Kathuga. I'll take the Water Protection. Let's transfer some Cashola over. I want this skull token, but we don't need this skull token. We could just we could just leave this skull token here, right? Like, but the thing is, like, I know all of the if I remember correctly, all of the symbol tokens are very nice in this scenario. But I've only played this scenario three times, and once was a standalone. So my knowledge on this scenario is very very low. I dropped my notepad. I right, want Akachi to go first. Akachi is going to draw a card. That's a nice draw. Akachi is going to move up here. Spend two minus one keys. Either remove one Doom from the agenda, or choose and discard a card from play and one on Elite. Okay. We discovered an ancient vault. Say no more. Say no more. I'm going to draw another card. That's a great draw. That's a great draw. It's really going to help us out. Okay. Lola. We're going to be a little bit desperate here. 
We got an art student. Uh, let's go! The shroud is six. We're not breaking that shroud. You know what? We're gonna just we're ignoring the we're ignoring this key. We're ignoring it. It's I think it's out of our price range. We are gonna move up here though. Who knows? We might be able to get back if we get a convenient stone bridge. Akachi, she investigates only at seven to six. Yeah, no, it's it's a pipe dream that I think we're not gonna make work. Okay. I think we're still gonna drop down you. Uh, and then we're going to investigate at four to two. Let's switch to red. Let's switch to red. We can be defensive in the mythos phase. I'm down for being defensive in the mythos phase. That's a nice draw. Four of six. You really have got to go. <laughs> it's a guy! Crib chill. Alright, we're testing five to four. We're just going to quickly, don't mind me, grab this brand of Kathuga. Don't mind me, just gonna get the good, good, uh, the best kill spell on our deck. And then we're gonna go five to four. Bye. Get her out of here. Okay, who are you? You're that guy. We'll engage him. We'll zap him with the shriveling. We have seven to three. He's dead. Obviously, we have to use the green soapstone, but he is dead. Okay, I think for our last action, I'm going to use this alchemical transmutation. So we have five to zero. Four to zero. I ain't gonna complain. So we get five to zero, so we get four resources. Okay. Lola, pick up the key. Then we'll move in here for action number one. Yeah, I'm good. We're gonna move up here for action number two. Oh, that can be good, actually. That actually can be very good. We can swap these two around. Okay, it's a four shroud location, so that's really high. <laughs> that's really high. But I think we just don't test it this turn, and instead we draw a card. Because if we get, like, we're basically looking for more passive book boost if we can find it, like another magnifying glass. Obviously, an old key ring is also going to be very helpful to us because we can use it in tandem with the deductions. And then we'll go upkeep and we'll draw just what we needed. That's also a really good draw. Four of six. Evil card over here. It's this guy. Evil card over here. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's the fucking penguin. Alright, so Lola, you're on your own here. You're going to have to evade this guy. But he only has one foot. So that's very doable.
I love the fucking penguins. I love them so much. They, they're they just... It's the best encounter card in this freaking game. Yeah, walk, 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 walk. It's, it's, it's poetry. It's actually beautiful. Okay. Lola, why don't you try to evade this guy at 3 to 1? Uh-oh. We automatically fail. Okay, we're going to go again. 3 to 1. Cool. We pass. We're going to fast out... Sorry, we're going to switch to yellow. We're going to fast out a magnifying glass. So we are now five. We're going to go six. We're going to go seven, eight. We're going to go eight to four on this investigate. <gasps> minus, minus three. We're good. Two clues. You get some horror? Thank you. Yes, I do. Uh, we get two horror in total then. One from this, one from that. Art student down. Hmm. Three, I think. Oh, I did on that other one, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know you're right. It was three tests that I revealed them. Sure. All right, Akashi's going to go one, two, three. Come here. Oh, sure. Let's also do that. All right, five of six. Test brain three. Oh, my God. This could deal us a lot of horror. And we're in yellow? Uh-oh! I can switch in the test, though. I can switch to red. And I think we're going to. Because during the twist test, I can switch. So we're three all. Minus two? I'm okay with taking two horror. But I'm going to use the Lucky and take Zero Horror instead. I think that sounds like a pretty good deal. Uh, I'm going to quickly just Warder Protection that. <laughs> I don't think I want to fight two Elder Things this turn. I don't know about you, chat, but I think I'm okay with not fighting two Elder Things this turn. Okay, Lola is going to grab the key. I think we're going to have Akachi do the switch. Lola is going to spend an action to spend these just to make her skulls a little bit weaker. We're going to go like that. Alright, we have discovered a hidden power. And that hidden power is friendship! Okay. Action two, let's hop in here. We ain't reading the map. Uh, and then we're just going to investigate at five to two. We just want to get out of frost token hell. Oh, that's right, we can use these to move. I always forget about that. By always, I mean the third time I've played this uh, scenario. Alright. Give me the zap. With this. We have eight to three. <gasps> We've been very lucky with... um. Elder Signs, and I'm going to just respect that. Oh, I can put it on this. Let's do it on that instead. Yeah, let's load up the Soapstone. Kill this guy, discard the top four. Draw each weakness, too. 
That's fine. That's fine, because we have the Uncaged the Souls, which we actually haven't milled yet, which is nice. All right. Action two, we're going to do this. We're going to swap a key. We're going to swap the two skulls around. The skull and the zero. Then we're going to move in here to be with our friend. And we'll go upkeep. Please, nothing scary. Gaze into madness in the campaign log. Finding surviving expedition member, including those currently under the control who don't have a check mark. All right, we're going to do one of each. So it's a 50 50 shot. It's either Professor William Dyer or Bryn's favorite uh, ally who he never wants to see die. Good news, Bryn. You're okay. Uh, you don't notice the effect. Uh, dire. More like debtor, am I right, chat? Am I right? God, this expedition got absolutely fucked. Ten. Below the darkened ice, more of the city lies trapped. Alright, evil card over here. None other than Crumbling Runes, test foot three. During this test, if you reveal a Chaos Token that matches the key on your location or the control of an Investigator location, you automatically fail. Ah, oh, I like the design on that card. I think I said that last time, too. Anyways, we're going 3-all, baby! Let's go! And I swapped the zero out of there! Look at that! Look at that foresight chat! I'm the best! Alright, what do we got over here? When this enemy engages you, place you control and it will at least play place that key on its location. Alright, he's gonna die. He needs to die first. So let's zap him with a shriveling. We have seven to two. Classic elder thing art from Fantasy Flight Games. Absolute classic art. Seven to two. Fuck me, I'll take a horror. All right, we have a lot we need to do with Akachi here. So we are going to green soapstone this. So that'll kill this guy in one hit. We are going to drop down this brand of Kathuga. And then, did I pay for the brand of Kathuga chat? Honestly, I'm so embarrassed that I don't remember if I did or not. <laughs> I don't remember if I did or not. We're at that part of my life right now. Yes, you paid twice. All right. How's Lola doing? She's doing good. It's It's been a... So you can see with my... I have one moment where I loved Lola and zero moments where I've hated Lola, which is much better than what I'm normally used to. Did I put the extra charge on? I don't even need it. I don't even want it. Don't even want it. Can I... I actually refuse to take it. Is this forced? Yeah, it's funny, because I remember if I was doing this with dice, but because I'm playing digitally and I just set it and forget it, I was like, why does it? Why is this not programmed to do this? Come on. But I understand it's much more complicated than that. I'm not actually saying that, because I know it's... I also don't even really care. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, Lola. We're going to investigate a 5 to 2. Give me that. I'll pick up the skull as well. And then we're going to move here. Move one key on another location in this row to Cyclopean Spires. Move one other key on another location in this row. That's a really good, that's a really good little thing there. That's really nice. Uh, then we're going to investigate 5 to 3, I think. We're just on basic investigate mode. And we're succeeding. Alright. We'll go upkeep. Ain't going to complain about that. 
one of ten. Evil card over here. Test the initial location with a if you discover one. Ooh. Oh, but that's what read the signs for. That's what read the signs is for, chat. We are going to be tempo negative on that. Lose an action. That I actually think is fine to be in Akachi's deck. Does Real Signs work? Does it not work? I always thought that this just stopped. You know, honestly, I'm going to say as the designer's intention. It, no, it doesn't work. You're right. Fuck this game. I hate this game. <laughs> I'm going to wager, I'll be honest though, that their intention is that this was supposed to work. Like, I'll guarantee it. Okay, what do we do here? Because, like... It's... Once again, it's just obtuse, try-hard rulings that I think I've actually have killed this game for, like, that kind of stuff. It's so just annoying. I think we just have to, like, bomb it, though, right? Feels like it should even by the letter of law, doesn't? Yeah, see? I agree. I agree. Alright, how do we want to bomb? Whose hand's getting fucked here? It's probably Akachi's, right? Her hand is worse. Yeah, it's probably just Akachi. She just has to kill it. All right, moving here, Akachi. And then let's investigate. We have a uh, seven to three. Nice. This is discarded. And then we get rid of all these. All right. So Lola's going to move this over here, and then we're going to pick up them both. We could leave one for Akachi, but I don't... I think, I think it's ultimately fine, right? It's ultimately okay. And then we're going to move here. Yeah, I'm actually... Uh, and then we're going to spend three clues. Move to any row or column. Three. To move up here. Is it revealed or just any row? Nice. Uh, hey! There's the other stone bridge. Okay. Uh, and then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to read the signs. So we have eight to three. All right. I'll grab two clues. There's the other. I was like, where's the other tablet? It's all the way down there. Okay, we'll go upkeep. Here we go, Akachi. Fresh start. A promise of power. It's it's a it's a true showcase of what's to come. Not a giant fucking penguin. Test foot three. 
three damage. I mean, we'll just promise of power this. We'll go seven to three. Never punished. Okay. So Lola's going to pick up a key. And then we're going to spend an action to spend those keys. We got very lucky key placement for this one. I'm not going to not going to doubt that. All right, we advance this. No, please, no more frost tokens. 6 6 frost tokens. We're this is we're in trouble. We're in trouble, chat. This is going to be a really hard final scenario, I think. We don't really have the team built for it. Shovel says, like, creature in the ice encounter set. Yeah, it's cold. Which one gets rid of the frost tokens? Uh, he's dead. <laughs> I think he died in our plane crash. Yeah, I think it was Avery. I think, I think, I think he died in the, um... Oh, of, the, of these things. The minus two tokens? Oh, they're all the way over there. The keys to spend. I've even, have I even found the location for it? You know the road to the Undercity reveal the hidden tunnel. Okay. Ah, okay, I see. <clears throat> to skill your choice, you may spend a skull key to get plus five. If you succeed, return one clue on a hidden tunnel to the token pool. Two clues instead if you spend a skull key. Sorry, and the discard pile? And the encounter discard pile. Hmm. Minus ones, you say? <laughs> Like, would it be crazy to just try to go for the W here? I don't think it would be, right? Like, I think we're good to just try to end it. Yeah, I'll spend two actions to move here. We could do that for fun. Alright, Akash is going to move here, and then we're going to draw a card. <laughs> I'll draw another card. Cool. Alright. Upkeep. Three of ten. It's a guy! Hello, I'm a guy. It's another guy. Okay. It is I. Guy. <laughs> Amen. I mean, this is totally fine, right? We just brand a Cathug of one, shrivel the other. You can even engage because the token bag's so fucking fucked. <laughs> and then Lola can just get up there and do her thing. That sounds pretty fine. Yeah, we're going to brand a Cathug at this guy because we're less likely to lose two actions against him. So we have seven to two. You know what? No, no, we're going to stick seven to two. I forget the one I put in here. It was a losing action, so we actually don't want to draw a card on this guts. Seven to two. All right. Let's go again. Seven to two. Holy shit. All right. I think we actually have to do this one now. We're going to go seven to three. Oh, 
All right, let's go. I'm going to spend three charges and kill this guy. All right, you live to fight another day, buddy. You live to fight another day. Look at all these cards in Lola's hands that we just haven't had to play. All right, Lola's going to move up here. Lola's going to investigate. I'm going to choose book. <laughs> I think I'm going to choose book. And I'll spend the, the skull key. Might as well, right? So we have 10 to 4. You hate to see it. That's fine? That's fine. And all these get removed. Uh, you may spend, if you do, return 1, return 2 to the token pool. Okay, let's go again. 10 to 4. You'll love to see it. All right, well, let's get out of here next turn, shall we? Upkeep. Um, discard a card in my chosen identity. Discard the top card of my deck. Become that color. Perfect. Yeah, no, it was big uh, intel from Discar Pack telling me that the skulls were helpful. They were very helpful. <laughs> they were very helpful indeed. Four of ten. Evil card? Cave in. All right, well, we're going... Uh, we can switch to red. We might as well. It's the color we just live in, I guess. So we have three all. It's like two damage. Yeah, we'll go five to three. Can this kill me? Yes. It can. We're gonna go seven to three. Easy. He's good. Didn't even draw the deck of Lily, even though I actually would want to. Okay. This is a force. Yeah, we can just go in there and do it. So we'll go in there and do it. We'll bring this guy with us. Advance. The path now clear leads into a labyrinth of dark, treacherous tunnels. For good or ill, your rigorous journey is coming to an end. Taking a deep breath, you gather your courage and delves into the depths of the mountain. Resolution 1. All right. We found the hidden tunnel. We have victory one, two, three, four. We have four XP. That's sick. And then we go to interlude the final night. Yeah, 4, B, 4 VP is not bad for how much I rushed it. We could have reasonably stayed longer. The thing is, I don't think these decks have the legs to stay longer, you know? I think that they are very um, front-loaded, which is going to be perfect for uh, Heart of Madness Part 2, right? It's not like that scenario gets harder as we go. Crispy, 12 months with Twitch Prime at the Golden Table. A whole year at the Golden Table. Thank you for your continued support and happy one-year stream anniversary. Yay! Time Roller, how's it going? Happy Monday to you. Okay. 
Um, who do we want to talk to? Let's 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 talk to Avery Claypool because I imagine we can get something from his dead body that can help us. Oh, are those items like not around? Avery Claypool's furs. I'll look it up manually. See if we even want that. Yeah, those are probably good. We'll do that. So we get Claypool's furs. And I'm going to give that. So who are we going to talk to? Three of them? Yeah. Claypool's furs. Uh, I mean, we'll talk to Danforth again because he's alive. So someone gets plus two cards. For Heart of Madness. And then I think we'll also talk to Elia again and we'll get some uh, some healing. We'll remove one mental trauma. Let's from Akachi, because she's been just taking a bunch of it. And obviously she's also the only choice that we have to heal. Alright, I don't think we're going to do the Fatal Mirage again because we only have three members of the team left. Two of which are already resolute. Uh, and I also don't want six Frost Tokens in the bag. Maybe? So we'll go to the Heart of Madness. No, I have to add another Frost Token. I don't want seven Frost Tokens in the bag, chat. I don't want seven Frost Tokens. No, I don't. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Anyways... Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, seven Frost Tokens? Are you fucked? <laughs> we're going to lose. I think we're going to lose Heart of Madness, and that's okay. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a fun time. Uh, but I suppose that's also the downside of Avery Claypool dying in the plane crash. I think it was him anyway. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Have a good one. And as always, a GG's.